Hello everyone. This video is related to out of sequence activities in Primavera P6 software. So let us see what is out of sequence activities. As the name itself says, the activities which is going irregular or not as per plan in the as we plan in the baseline program. So those those activities which are not progressing as per original plan and logic is called auto sequence activities. And we know that our actual progress vary a lot as compared to as plan program. And this will affect the logic of the future activities and, and the network calculation. And it affect the project delays analysis. So it is very important to remove this auto sequence activities from the updated program. Now we will see which techniques we can use to update the program in Primera. Primera itself offers three types of techniques to update a program, which is uh, progress retain logic, progress override, and actual dates. To access these techniques, we have to press F9. Once we press F, uh, press F9, the scheduling dialog box will come up. In the scheduling dialog box, there is a button which is named Option. Once we click Option, the Option dialog box come up with two tabs. There is one tab for the journal. Just go for journal tab and there is where you will see these three techniques are mentioned here. Normally, the consultant and the clients, they are recommended to use retain logic techniques. So be careful when you are defining the program at the initial stage. Once you define the retain logic, let's see what is the retain logic means. As the retain logic itself means show that it's named that it retained the logic. What logic we define in the baseline program and when we are updating the program, this logic relationship are respected in the future updates to determine the network calculation and network dates. Whereas in the progress override, this logics and links are ignored while calculating the effects on the or effects or out of sequence activities on the successor activities. So this I will explain to you in the next through the graphical representation. Suppose this is our program, our baseline program, and in the baseline program, so as a simple baseline program of three activities, activity A, activity B, and C, all are linked, finished to start with each other. Once, suppose we are updating it once or at instead of time, and when the activity B is completed itself. So when activity B is completed, it means that activities should be independent of the activity B, but it's not like this. This is not the case. The activity, the, because activity B is completed, but activity A is delayed, so this delay of activity A will come up on activity C through B. So you, as you see that activity B is completed, but activity A is a delay. So this delay is come up in C or through activity B in the return logic technique because A is linked with B and B is linked with C. So any delay of A will come in B and will go through C. Whereas in the progress override activity, this delay of activity A will not show in the future activities of activity, activity A and C. So in this case, activity A and C are start at the same time and delay of activity A will affect activity B, which is already completed. So this delay will not influence the program, will not impact the delays uh, calculation. So in my next activity, I will show you how we determine the uh, how we determine the auto sequence activities in primary software using different type of fold, uh, filters and run report. And I will tell you how we eliminate these auto sequence activities from the updated program. So I hope this is, this information is quite useful for you. And and my wait for I will in my next video I will just tell you how to eliminate this uh, auto sequence activities. And I will if you like my video I will appreciate if you like share and subscribe my channel. And until that time thank you for your time. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.